Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Calvin from Old New Games 101. Got some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here on the map, Karachi. Uh, and I know what you guys are going to be probably be thinking uh, right when you first see this video is my setup. And the only reason why I'm using this horrible setup is because I was on my new account, True True Clutch. Um, it's my new account for my clan, and I was just trying to level it up. So let's get into this video. Uh, today I really want to talk about Moabs in Modern Warfare 3 and how I think that they are extremely easy to get and um, how I feel that Call of Duty Black Ops should not have anything to do with Moabs or anything like that. So to first talk, I want to talk about how they're easy. And I know I might, one of you guys might think, oh wow, it's still 24 kills or 25 kills and I know like it's still hard to get. But if you realize, in Modern Warfare 3, it's so much more easier to get a kill than in Modern Warfare 2. And um, also, in Modern Warfare, if you look, because I was looking on a website and I saw like three different websites, so it's not just some random thing. I saw three different websites, and the stats said that in Modern Warfare 2, 23% of all players of Modern Warfare 2 have only, only 23% have gotten at least 10 nukes, which is not that much. That means that there's 77% that do not get it. Um, huh, great math, Calvin. <laughs> um, also, now they say that in Modern Warfare 3, there's been a big jump from 23 to 44%. Now, that is over 20% of the Call of Duty players getting Moab. And personally, I think that's the reason because of Infected. And if you guys know what Infected, if you guys don't know what Infected is, it's basically where... There are a lot. There's 18 players in this mount in this round. Um, it's basically you are. There's two different teams. There's the inf infected people who are like zombies. Uh, it's yeah, kind of like manhunt, basically. Sorry for that. I did not know that my PVR could record people talking, but that's the only part that there is in the whole video. So let's continue. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So, um, so infected basically it's like zombies. It's like manhunt. It's like zombies versus normal people and um. You basically, one zombie tries to infect the other people. And um, how I think this has gotten the Moabs way more like big is that um, because if if you notice, a lot of the ways that people get Moabs is, oh, that was the lag, is because they hide in a corner and they wait for everybody else to come. And in infected, the, if you're like if there's only three people left, everybody else has a, has a tactical knife and no ammo and a throwing knife that's it so and if you have a really good gun like if you have like an ACR or something cuz I've been in a match where sometimes they give you ACRs or they give you full assault rifles basically you're basically gonna get a lot of Moabs and or a lot of kills and they kinda lead to Moabs and so that's why I think that's one reason another reason why on infected could be a, a big reason why they have it is because you can play two-player now and in Modern Warfare 2, I mean Black Ops, if you were to have, like, because I know Modern Warfare 2, you can't do split screen, but on Black Ops, if you uh, if you were to go two-player, you couldn't play those single-game things. And even if you were to play gun game or stuff, there's no way you could get a total of 24 kills. But on Infected, they basically just hand it to you, because all you have to do is go on split screen, go with your friend, make him die, go to a corner, and... Because you get tactical insertions, I think. Yeah, uh, DJ, do you get tactical insertions when you're uninfected if you're infected? Yeah, so you get a tactical insertion, you just keep killing them. I mean, that's a big way you get, like, nukes and stuff. And I just find that if, if you're playing Call of Duty, you want a challenge. And I find that if you're just MW2, MW3, getting a mob is just way too easy. And I think that's why a lot of people buy it, is because they find everything easy. I mean, support... If you think it's a sport, it's just basically you get really bad kill streaks. I mean, oh great, you get a juggernaut, but it's like a juggernaut. If you think of it, you it's you basically have to get a pistol. You most of the time get a pistol, and in like like one out of ten, you get a machine gun. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So I mean, getting a juggernaut's great, but other than that, it's like and I mean. Usually the people who take support are the ones who are not good at Call of Duty or snipers, but usually snipers do specialists. Anyway, I just find that Modern Warfare 3 isn't really for what it really is because if you see in this gameplay, I get a lot of kills. I get 23 kills, and I get and by getting them, I get like a lot of double kills, and I get a lot of pred. I get two preds, and I get some care three care packages and all that stuff. But I even use my Harriers I get from the care package, but I didn't even 
I didn't get like a nuke, but if I were to, like I didn't even get a high kill streak, but that, but that's pure Call of Duty playing like that is playing where you're going around trying to get some points and stuff. And in Modern Warfare 3, they just made it like it's it's just everybody should get a, a win. But I mean that's how I guess some people should feel, and everybody can get a win, but it's just too easy. And I personally do not play Modern Warfare 3. I only play it when I'm trying to go out and get some nice feats with my MSR. And uh, I'm actually going to talk about the MSR too this video. Let's just see how much... Okay, I got a little bit of time left. But I'm actually going to talk about the MSR just a little bit too. Um, but yeah, basically I think that Moabs and kills are just way too easy to get. Um, quickly about the MSR. Oh, this is where I get my pred where I'm like about to die. I'm, like I get hurt. Yeah, so... Yeah, so anyway, um, about the the um, uh, the MSR, I find that it was just insane when people, when they made the MSR at first, where any shot, like any bullet would kill them. And uh, if you are somebody like me and who's not, was not as high, oh nice little double kill, if you weren't as high as um, the levels, like not 66, you wouldn't even be able, like because the bear 50 cal, the scoping in with quick draw was it, like crazy fast like it was twice as fast as the modern warfare 2 scoping in and the everything else in the msr was just so precise i mean if you if you had the msr it would have been way not fair for everybody else because it would have been one shot on them is one kill and i uh oh i get a nice little kill here okay, this is cool. not anymore. um yeah so i mean the msr was just i i think that most people didn't want when before they patched, I don't think people wanted to prestige, and I think that that's one reason why people kept on playing Modern Warfare 3. But we're, what I'm trying to say, my point is, is that it's not as fun anymore to play Call of Duty because of the ways that other people are playing. Because I don't like going into a lobby and seeing, like for example, domination. I don't like people. I don't like going into a lobby with all of these people just. Oh, with all these people just like having all of these kills and stuff and I'm all the way at zero and it's not even fun anymore. So that's what our video was today and uh oh 25. Yeah, what up? Okay guys, I will guys I'll I will guys. I'll see you guys later.